Hey, it's Ryan. Thank you for being here. Today I want to show you a quick video on how to process Cinema DNG RAW um, outside of like DaVinci Resolve or something. I'm actually uh, going to use Premiere to edit and I'm going to use After Effects to deal with the Cinema DNG RAW files. First thing you want to do is make sure this is on 16 bits. Mine already is. I'm going to open up... Uh, my files, which are here. And here's the first one. Inside of the folder generated uh, by your camera when you shoot Cinema DNG RAW is the WAV file, um, which is obviously your audio, and all the rest of these DNG files are basically still image files. So I'm gonna click on the first one. I'm gonna make sure that camera RAW sequence is selected. So it's gonna treat it as a sequence. We will import it. First thing it does is it opens <clears throat> it opens the scene. So here we are. Uh, here's the first picture. A good starting point, you can just click auto and see where it puts you. Now this is really orangey, so the color temperature is off. So I'm actually going to bring this down. Um, this is about the actual color. Uh, you can also see your scopes and stuff, um, just like an image file. I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit more. Um, I'll bring the blacks down because I like the contrast. Bring the contrast up a little bit. So just, I mean, it's really like preference. Um, now one thing with this is you can't see the subject. Uh, I'm not in the frame yet, but um, you can at least see what you got. Also under detail, you can check out what the sharpening is at, noise reduction, color noise reduction. So we'll just add a tiny bit of color, uh, noise reduction. Click OK. Nothing has happened except you've edited that first frame. I also want to interpret the footage because I shot it at 24 frames a second. So I'm going to change the interpret footage on that to 24 frames a second. I'm going to click OK. And then um, that's pretty much it. So once you have that, you can drag it into your new composition. Uh, there it is right there. There's your whole, <laughs> there's your whole thing. <laughs> and uh, if you're happy with it, you can just go ahead and add it to your render queue. So go to composition, add to render queue. In here, just um, set it to what you want. Uh, make sure your frame rate is correct. I got to put mine on 24. You can set your format. I don't want AVI. I actually want QuickTime. I'm going to also, under format options, mine's going to be set Apple ProRes 422 LT. That's what I want. Choose your location. And um, Yeti scene save and that's pretty much it then you can just render out and when when you're done you'll have your um whatever you selected i selected a prores file once it renders out you'll have your prores file um and assuming your frame rate is correct and everything's all set up you can just sync it up with your audio in premiere and um there's your scene that's how you process cinema dng raw in short feel free to ask questions as always thanks for watching just a short one today i'll see ya